Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about resource management as this is a very important thing in Morrowind because they kind of tuned down a lot of th things in terms of resource management, champion points, the cost reduction got removed, medium light armor also does less cost reduction than previously, and all that kind of stuff. So on my website most build like the builds that I already updated for Morrowind already have those kind of things built in however I want you to understand what you can do because for some people maybe it's not enough so I want you to understand how you can change things to get better sustain now on most builds as you see first we will do the magic setup and then we will go to the stamina character we have to drain magicka poisons so those are very powerful. They, they restore 238 Magicka every second for 5.5 seconds and they proc a lot. They proc from light and heavy attacks and from weapon abilities like blockade for example. Or force pulls if you use it. On my builds you always see the ingredients how to craft them. Now this is probably the best option you have to use those but they're very expensive so it's not the option for anyone right because in like in three hours of raiding you use up like 1500 of those and they're not cheap to craft so what else can you do to improve sustain next best thing would be witch mother's brew now this gives you max magicka, max health and 319 magicka recovery. So when we look at the stats here, I'm at 44.4k magicka, 16.2k health and I have 1k magicka recovery. I have a magicka recovery glyph here. Now when we use the potent brew, it goes up to 1.6k. And then when we use a potion, we are at 1.8k. Now you see we lost 2k Magicka, we lost 2k health. Now in... Like this health is too low for trials. So you will have to get around 17k health. So you will lose another 3k max Magicka. But it's worth it, believe me. Because it, it's not good if you run out of Magicka. So that's one option, this drink, I highly recommend this if you struggle, just make sure to adjust the health bars. What you also can do is, if you don't want to run a monster set, you can use like a Valkin. Let me check if I... A Valkin piece, because you see the one piece bonus gives you health po bonus. And there is other sets that also with one piece, they give you a health bonus. Like this here so you could stack two separate monster sets which both give a health bonus and then it would actually also be nice so you lose less magicka sure you lose the monster set but depends where you are like sometimes when not for every class monster sets are good and you just have to prioritize some things right now sometimes when you use the witch mother's brew or the drain magicka pots it's already enough but for me, I kind of need a magic recovery glyph. So you see, now I have the, the normal buff food, this one. And with one magic recovery glyph, I sit at 1.1k. When I use a potion, I get to like 1.2k. I'm an Altmer here. If you're a Dark Elf, it will be slightly lower. So that's also not bad, but this... If you play with 1.2k recovery, you probably have to do a few heavy attacks, right? So, Magic Recovery Glyph, if that's not enough, Witch Mother's Brew, and then more. It, like, if that's still not enough, you still could use another Magic Recovery Glyph. Now, a lot of people say uh, cost reduction is better, but it's not, because I tested it, like, cost reduction glyph. Let me actually check if I can find one. On the PTS we have those fancy boxes, so... Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, this is not the pre-made character. Let's see. 
So you see here, reduce magic cost of spells by 203. Now, if you actually apply this to skills, it only gives you around 140 cost reduction, in some cases even less. And one or two glyphs are usually not enough. So that's why I say it's better to combine Witch Mother's Brew with a Magic Recovery Glyph. Because it will give you bigger benefits or like more benefits in terms of Magic Recovery. Now the next thing what you also can or could use is another Glyph. I should... wait, it's on the bank I think. This glove is kinda another option, a cheaper option than the Drain Magicka pots. So it's basically this, like the same thing exists for Magicka setups. You deal magic damage and you restore 354 Magicka. Absorb, let me check if I... Yeah, I only have this one, I guess. So the same thing exists for Magicka, but the thing is, if you run dual wield, maybe on a Magicka Templar, it's not too big of a deal, but if you lose a full enchantment on a stuff, it's an option, but not the best one for me. But in case it's there, right? If you want to give it a test. Now another thing, obviously, is the heavy attacks, which are very strong this patch. Like, they restore a lot of resources. If you do one heavy attack, it's probably around 3 to 4k. L let me try to take a look. So now we are at yeah it's about four to five k that you get back well that's a lot of resources that's why a lot of builds have like one or two heavy attacks built in in their rotations however you know most of my builds are actually sustainable with a light attack rotation but then like in the new trial there is drain mechanics so no matter what you do you will get to zero magicka if you don't know when to block etc so don't forget to do heavy attacks i will probably do a separate video on like how you can animation cancel with heavy attacks properly because this is very important so those are basically your most valuable options the next thing champion points there is one thing here, tenacity. If you choose to use a heavy attack build, don't forget to put points here because it will give you more resource return on heavy attacks. If you have a recovery build, then make sure to put points into Arcanist because you will get more Magicka recovery. Obviously, you also could use different sets like Seducer, which gives you Magicka recovery and cost reduction. However, in my opinion, you lose too much damage if you use those kind of sets. But it's an option. So those are kind of the tricks you actually can do to get better sustain. Again, in terms of monster sets, there is also monster sets that give a, like have Magicka recovery on the One Piece bonus. Now here, the same thing basically. You can choose, like, we don't have the poisons because the weapon enchants are just, like, too strong. So we can't really use the poison, but it's also here, in case you want to try it out. So, what I do on most stem setups, either you have a heavy attack build, like on Stamina Dragon Knight. So you just, like, between every skill you use a heavy attack and then you have really good sustain. But you also can use like stamina recovery glyphs in combination with the dubious Cameron Throne drink. As you see, increases stamina recovery by 319 and it gives you max health and max stamina. So it's kind of the same thing as with Witch Mothers, you just have to make sure to adjust your health accordingly. Because we lose max stamina. But as you can see, if I use a potion, I see the 2k stamina recovery. So the sustain will be pretty good. That's something you can use. There is also, you actually also could use Bone Pirate if you want to. Together with the Dubious Cameron Throne. Because then you could go full weapon damage. Let me check if I... Have to activate the add-on. Bone Pirate combined with the Cameron Drink if you insane stamina recovery 
and it also gives you quite a huge magicka pool because it synergizes so well okay let's there we go now it just should work did i set it oh no that's grid view this one yes The Bone Pirate. So while you have a drink buff active, your max stamina is increased by 1930 stamina and uh, and stamina recovery by 145. So I use this on my two-hander stamina templar setup. I combine this with the drink. And then I get hu a huge magicka pool. I have quite nice weapon damage just synergizes really well so for people that really struggle with stamina recovery bone pirate combined with this drink probably the way to go now again on my website just go check the builds out most are already ready for morrowind you will see what kind of things i do for resource management and i will start soon with build videos so you actually can kind of, I will try to explain a little bit closer why, and I will talk about passives from each classes, what synergizes well, and all that kind of stuff. That's basically it for now. Make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Cheers.